percussion. This is Wednesday's edition of Online Band, okay? So as you can see, get out chart 11, line 6, okay? Let's write in the counts. That first and second measure, we're starting off with some eighth notes, cool. So big one, and then big and, and then we have some sixteenth notes, okay? Two, E, and, uh, all big, and then we have some more sixteenth notes, okay? Three, E, and, uh, and then we end with some eighth notes with four, and, okay? So, it should look like this, your first two measures. One, oh, get the glare out of there. There we go. One and two, we end a three E and a four and. Cool. All right, let's look at uh, still line six, measures three and four, okay? So we're starting off with some 16th notes, okay? So as you can see, um, measures one and two are exactly opposite of uh, measures three and four, okay? We're starting off with eighth notes in measures one and two, but in three and four, we're starting off with the sixteenth notes, okay? So we're, uh, for each beat, wherever there were eighth notes, now there's sixteenth notes, and vice versa. Okay, so we're starting off with all big uh, numbers again, and letters, one, E, and, uh, and then we have two, and, three, and, four, E, and, uh. Okay, so write that down for both of those measures if you haven't already, okay? I'm going to show my work because I think it's great and I think it's beautiful. So here is the work. Oh my gosh, there we go. All right, so make sure that it looks like that in your rhythm chart, okay? So let's break it down, the first two measures, okay? First two measures, let's just do one measure, okay? So a measure of this, okay? Here we go. Let's count it, okay? Uh, there's no pulsing because there are no chord notes, okay? So let's just count it. Uh, one and two, ready, count. One and two, E and a three, E and a four, and. Again, one, two, uh, ready, count. One and two, E and a three, E and a four, and. All right, now do it twice because we have that measure twice in a row, okay? That measure twice. One, two, uh, ready, and count. One, and two, E, and a three, E, and a four, and one, and two, E, and a three, E, and a four, and. Play it. Here we go. With your drum pad, those two measures, okay? Line six, measure one and two. One, two, uh, ready, play. Again, and I'll say um, the big beats, okay? So I'll say one, two, three, four while we're playing, okay? Kind of acting as that metronome. Here we go. One, two, uh, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. Moving on to the third and fourth measure, okay? Let's count it. One, two, count it, go. One E and a two and three and four E and a. Again, I'll snap the beat. Uh, ready, count. One E and a two and three and four E and a. Again, with all rhythms that we do in rhythm charts and whatever line we're doing, make sure you're staying with me in the counts and also on the pad whenever we play it, okay? Speaking of which, let's play it, okay? This measure, twice. Let's play it, okay? Uh, one. Two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try it again. One, two, two measures, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, the whole thing, all right? This measure twice, then this measure twice. And if it helps you, look at your rhythm chart at home because it's just all in one line. Okay? Chart 11, line 6. Let's play it. And I will be counting each beat to keep you honest with the tempo. Uh, one, two, that whole line go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if 
you need to rewind that, please do so. But that's it for Rhythm Chart Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dude. Happy Wednesday, sixth grade percussion. All right, here's a video of me showing you some of my shoes, okay? Because I'm so proud of them. Like I said, you can't escape it because I'm so bored and I just need to do something. Okay, well, here we go. So, some of my favorite shoes that I got, okay? Some of my favorite shoes that I got. I got the LeBron James. I think these are the 16s. I can't remember, honestly. Uh, they're a little dirty, as you can see. They've seen some use, but the top in mint condition, okay? And what I want you to guys to do, ooh, that swoosh, Nike, just do it. Okay, what I want you to do is put a comment on these videos here. Tell me which one's your favorite, okay? So that's my first one. Okay, check it out, check it out. Um, which ones? Ooh, I like these though. These are nice. Derrick Rose, okay? So as you can see, all my shoes that I have here are all NBA players, okay? Because I love the NBA, and it's killing me that I can't watch the NBA games on my off time because of, you know, everything that's happening. So these are the Derrick Rose 773 edition, right? Fresh, right? Yeah, they're nice. Okay, let me show you um a couple more, okay? Ooh, I like these ones. Kyrie Irving, in my opinion. Kyrie Irving has the best shoe out there. I have so many Kyrie shoes. It's ridiculous. Okay, these ones, I think they're called the Black Ice Kyrie 3s. Yeah. These were one of my favorite ones, okay? Yeah. Ooh, that swoosh looking nice. Okay, one more, okay? One more. Now check these out. I only wore these once because they're so white, okay? From the soles to here. But LeBron's again, the three of the 23, okay? Yeah, I even have still the little thing that keeps it in place in there because I don't really wear it that much, okay? So out of the four shoes that I showed you, please leave a comment there, okay? So tell me which one you like the, the best, okay? Because this is a good way for me to actually see, hey, are my students watching these videos, okay? If they comment with their favorite shoe, oh, they're watching the video and we're actually learning some percussion, okay? So like I said, last one, on to the lesson. All right, Wednesday's edition of the mini scale, okay? Check it out. I have a little tower going on here, okay? So hopefully it doesn't fall while I'm playing or while this video is going, okay? So what we're, do what we're doing today is we're going to review what we did Monday with the B-flat and the E-flat mini scale, but I'm going to bring back that F mini scale just to show you the progression of adding the flats for each one, okay? So let's start with that F mini scale, get it out, get your bell kits out, and uh, we'll get started, okay? So the F mini scale is actually going to be on the back of that uh, five note scale patterns. It's the very last one, okay? And you will notice that the F mini scale, you have one flat, and it's in the middle line, every good boy, and it's going to be B flat, okay? Just one flat that you have to worry about, okay? And then, once you progress to B-flat, you're just adding on the E-flat there, because the B-flat stays the same there. You're adding on that E-flat. And then once you get to the E-flat major scale, or mini scale, you're adding on the A, okay? So the constant here is always the B-flat. 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 Once we get here, we add the E-flat. E-flat. Same thing. And then this is the adding A flat, okay? So one, two, three, okay? Let's start with the F mini scale, okay? Your F mini scale starts in the middle F here, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, and. So a couple of things. Remember, only one flat. The only thing that you need to worry about is B flat. You're starting on F, going up to G, then A, then B flat, then C, and then right back down, okay? Try it again. One, two, ready, play. Very good. 
good. Let's move on to the B-flat mini scale. You're going to have to turn your page over to the beginning or the first page, and then it's at the very beginning, like I said. So just like the F major scale or F mini scale, you have B-flat, you have B-flat again, but you're adding on that E-flat, okay? This is a good review from Monday's lesson, okay? So let's play the B-flat mini scale, adding on that E-flat. Here we go. And we're in the middle, B flat right here. Make sure we're alternating using good technique. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Do it again. One, two, ready, play. Very good. All right, and then adding on that extra flat for E flat, okay? The A flat. So we have B, B. Adding on E flat, we keep it over here, the E flat. And then for this one, we're adding A flat, okay? Concert E flat mini scale, the very top E flat, okay? As you can see in your thing here, we're gonna have E flat, eventually A flat, and then B flat if we're ascending, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Try it again. One, two, ready, play. Very good. If you have any questions about the progression that we're using here for each uh, mini scale and the key signatures, then please leave a comment and then I'll come that back, okay? Sound good? Thank you. Moving on to some drum pad. What's up? Wednesday edition of the Red Book, okay? So get out number 89. We're going to play it on the drum pad today, okay? Number 89. It is the F major scale arpeggio and chords. Concert F major, okay? But we're going to be playing it on the drum pad and we're going to be doing the snare drum part, okay? Cool. So once you get your drum pad out and you get your drumsticks ready, let's uh, dive into this a little bit, okay? First of all, let's count measure one. Count measure one with a metronome, okay? We're counting one, two, measure one, and count. One, and two, e, and a three, and four, and, and that's it. Try it again, make sure you're lining up with me. Uh, one, two, ready, and. One, and two, e, and a three, and four, and. Good job. Measure two, you'll notice that the measure two is exactly the same, rhythm-wise. The only difference so we're adding in those buzz strokes for three and four and. So measure one, the three and four and will sound like three and four and. Measure two, your actual stroke stays the same. You're just adding in those buzz strokes, okay? So make sure that you brush up on like your buzz stroke. Give me a couple buzz strokes on the right hand. Make sure you're kind of matching. Remember, thumb, one, two, for kind of that fulcrum and then the pinky and and uh pinky sorry pinky and ring finger are there for support nice and relaxed you're closing off that gap but remember i can take that stick out at any time cool so give me a couple buzz strokes again with both hands right and left hand make sure that you're connecting them as much as you can okay so Measure two, the three and four and, is going to sound like try to connect it as best as possible, okay? Try to match that sound that I'm producing on this drum pad, okay? First, let's play just measure one. Play measure one. One, two, ready, and. Again, two, measure one. It's at a mezzo forte, medium loud. Um, we're in 4-4, four, four, so four beats in a measure, as you can see. All right, measure two. Play measure two. Like I said, the only difference is the three and four and. That's the only difference. Measure two. One, two, measure two, play. And make sure that we're keeping up with that tempo. Yes, we're doing buzz strokes, but we got to make sure... You still hear the 
three, and four, and... Well, not necessarily hear it. That's where your strokes are. You want to try to disguise it as best as possible, but it's pretty hard to do it at this tempo and this speed, okay? Cool. Measure two again. Uh, one, two, ready, and... All right, you notice uh, measure three and four are the same exact thing because we have the little um, symbol there that has like the that symbol and then the number two above it. That just basically means repeat the first or the previous two measures, okay? So you have measure one, measure two. You're gonna play measure one and measure two again, then move on to the second line for measure five, okay? So, can I hear just measure one and measure two? That's it. Two measures, one and two. One, sorry, let me get this going. One, two, ready, and. One and two, go. Now do measure one, two, three, four. Friendly reminder, three and four. You're just doing measures one and two again because of that symbol with the number two above it, okay? One, two, three, and four. The first line. One, two, ready, play. Very good. Make sure you're matching everything that I'm doing here. I know online band is a little bit rough because I can't see you do it, but try to mimic everything I'm doing, especially those buzz rolls, okay? Let's look at line two, okay? Measure five. Just that measure. Count it. Uh, one, two, measure five. Count it. One and two, we end a three and four. Again, two, count it, and one and two, we end a three and four. Play it. Two, ready, play. Uh, again. Two, ready, and. Good job. All right, the next three measures, and that's it, okay? All quarter notes, right? So stay with the metronome with each quarter note. You understand? Let's do it. And uh, what rudiment is that, by the way? I'll give you a second to think it over. In measures six, seven, and eight, the last three measures that you actually play, what rudiment is that? Correct. It is the flam tap, okay? The flam tap in quarter notes, okay? So make sure that you're giving me, whenever you have the right flam, right's up, left's down. And then vice versa for the left flam. Left's up, right down. Cool? Measures six, seven, and eight with the flam taps. It's at the arpeggio section. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Notice how each flam that I had, it was undeniable. Oh, that's the right flam. Oh, that's the left flam. So try to match that. Again, at the arpeggio with the flam taps. Chord notes. One, two, ready, and. Good job. Can I hear line two? Starting at measure five with a one and two, we end a three and four right into the flam taps, okay? Make sure that when you're coming from the more active part in measure five, that you're not too fast with those chord notes in measure six, seven, and eight, okay? Here we go. Measure five, line two. Uh, one, two, ready, and. Do that again. Good job. Uh, one, two, ready, play.
Let's do the whole thing and call it a lesson, okay? Here we go. The whole thing, starting from the beginning. Uh, one, two, ready, play. Connect those buzzes. Please rewind that if you messed up, okay? So that we can strive for perfection. Strive for excellence. That's what we do here at Jackson City Schools, okay? Online band, baby. See ya.